Hey guys, Reginald Doc here, back today with the Noble Knight combo tutorial that I promised. Um, it's just going to focus on the Madrak combos because everything else is rather simple or very similar. Just a fact of like, you know, getting to a guy that gets you to a sold and then just make a rank 4 basically. But this is all the more complicated stuff, you know, all the nuances, so let's get into it. So for this first combo, I'm going to talk to you about literally just Madrak plus an equip spell that re-equips. So most of them re-equip i'll just use this one or i could use like caliburn for example which is a bit better so firstly normal summon the draw equip this activate the draw's effect to summon from the deck we're going to summon out the ivan and then the destiny will get destroyed destiny effect re-equip to ivan ivan effect will summon a token and then you're going to link with the token and the ivan sending the noble arms of destiny's grave to summon the assault it's all done summon, we'll search. So we're going to get a Noble Knight Brothers for our next turn. You cannot summon Noble Knight Brothers or use its effect for the rest of this turn. That is important. And then you're going to use the other effect of Isold. You're going to send four equipped spells with different names. You're going to send Caliburn, Excalibur, Galatin, and probably Clarent. So the ones you want in Grave are Galatin, Excalibur, and Destiny You know for the combo. So just send any other four. The summon out, I'm going to go for a Custenin because there's not always an amazing target and you do play three, so you would just want to get one out because you just need, a rank, you need to make a rank four. So you're going to overlay these two. This is still in hand for next turn. I'm going to summon Artorigus. Um, you could also summon the other Sacred Noble Knight, but it doesn't re-equip, so I'd rather just go straight for this. But you could um, be greedy, summon the Sacred Noble Knight guy. And then when they destroy it, summon up the bigger Noble Knight, but I'd rather just get this on field. So you're going to equip Galatin, Excalibur, and Destiny. So this prevents it being targeted, this prevents it being destroyed, and this makes it gain a thousand attack. And then every standby phase it loses 200. So that's the sort of bread and butter standard combo. So for this combo, it is a lot stronger. You get a lot more for it, a lot more value. So you get one Madra and two equip spells. Only one of these needs to re-equip. So firstly, summon the Madra, similar line as before. I'm gonna activate the Galatin. And then I'm gonna use the effect of Madra to summon out the Ivan. Ivan gets equipped with Galatin. Ivan summons a token. So far, so good. So I'm gonna link off the token and the Ivan for a Azold. The soul is going to search brothers just like last time. And then we're going to use the effect of the soul, sending four equipped spells. Going to send. Um, always make sure you've got your sort of holy trinity. Then go for like random ones. So we're going to send these four to summon out bars from deck. Noble Knight bars. And then from hand, we're going to use the Caliburn. That was our second equip spell going to equip it to the bars it becomes level five and it gains its effect so its effect we're going to reveal three <coughs> and then your opponent gets to choose one randomly the other two go to grave so let's say for example they choose this these two go to grave if not it does not matter it's just this where you end up plus one card but you can still do the exact same combo without it so then you're going to Use the effect of Guinevere in Graveyard. Going to equip it to the Madrat. It becomes level 5 again. Going to overlay these two. And then we're going to make the good Noble Knight rank five, the rank 5. These both go to Graveyard. And then this effect activates as does this. Because you've not used it yet. So this will re-equip. I forgot to gain 500 off bars. Don't you forget. You know when this was equipped to bars. So we're going to use this own effect to re-equip. And we're going to use the Excalibur, Destiny, and Galatin. Going to equip them with this effect. And then lastly, we're going to set until Noble Arms are needed once again. So this time, um, this has got the same protections as last time. You know, targeting, destruction, and gains a load of attack. Gains more attacks of Caliburn. I'm going to use its effect to gain 500, which I should have done before because I could have been up a thousand now. My bad. Um, and then in your opponent's turn, you can activate until no arms are needed once again. Excavate four, add one to your hand. So if you're digging for a hand trap, 
Oh, it's in the order from when I did my deck profile. Oops. Well, there's a chance you could hit a hand trap and you get to that to your hand next turn. So obviously your next turn, banish someone from deck. So really, really cool with this combo. So for this next combo, this is a really, really strong one for the deck. Got Madrot plus Custenin plus Galatin or any re-equipping um, Noble Arms. So summon Madrot, equip Galatin, effect of Madrot. You're going to summon from deck the Bars this time because Bars is actually kind of good. Um, effect of this gets destroyed, re-equips to Bars. And then we're going to use the Bars effect to reveal three. We're going to reveal the Until Noble Arms are needed again, Guinevere and another copy of Until Noble Arms are needed again. So your phone picks one randomly. Hopefully they pick this, but the combo still works if you pick this. It doesn't really matter. Let's just go for this for now. Um, it is random, so sometimes you will just lose out. Um, and then you're going to summon the Custenin because you control Noble Arms. Then you're going to link these two for Isolde. This is your hand Isolde effect. So you're going to search for the Noble Knight Brothers for the next turn. If we can find it. I do play it, I promise. There we go. Then we're going to use the other effect of Isolde to send five equipped spells. So Caliburn, Clarent, Heart of Claire, um, and the two good ones. We've got Excalibur, Excaliburn and Destiny. I'm going to send all five to the graveyard to summon from deck the level five Noble Knight and um, Black Landerslin. Black Landerslin effect. You got you can tribute Isolde to search for a Noble Arms. I'm going to search the other copy of the trap until Noble Arms are needed once again. And then, because this is level five because it's got an equipped spell, you can overlay these two. Summon the good one. This falls off. Effects of this, you can equip three. So I'm going to go for Galatin, Excalibur, and Destiny. And then we're going to set these two traps. So then, in your opponent's turn, this obviously is protected and everything. And if it dies, it floats into a monster. And then you can um, activate this to excavate three. It's chain link one. Chain link two. You get to summon from deck, so you banish this, and then you can chain link three, flip up this, so you summon from deck, and then you, so you excavate three, summon from deck, excavate three, so excavate three, brothers, I'm going to add this, so I've still got a target to summon off um, from deck, I'm going to add this to hand. I'm going to summon brothers from deck and then I'm going to shuffle because I've just summoned from deck and excavate again. So, and this is why you should shuffle your deck properly because I mean it's all in order from the deck profile. But you see the idea? So, excavate, mix up your deck, excavate again because otherwise it just puts them back on top of the deck. So, that's it for one of the better combos. Now I'm just going to do one last combo, it's the same start in hand but you're going second, you can actually OTK, but it is dead on 8000 so if they have any sort of disruptions or anything, then you can't do it, but it does attack through a field. So let's get into that. So then for this last combo, I'm going to show you what you can do with Madrot, Custoning and a re-equipping Noble Arms, but this time you're going second, so you can do 8k exactly, um, by attacking directly as well, so firstly, summon the Madrot. And you're going to equip the Destiny, use the effect of the Madrot to summon from deck the Bars. This equips to Bars, Bars effect, you're going to add, you're going to reveal this, this and this. It doesn't really matter if they hit this, but for example, let's just say they hit this, um, combo still works regardless. So then you're going to summon the Custenin, and then you're going to overlay, so you're going to link these two, don't overlay, that's how you lose, um, for Isold. Assault is going to search on summon for the brothers, 3 plus 1, why wouldn't you? And then you're going to send 5 equipped spells to search, sorry, to summon from deck. So you're going to make sure you don't send all the ones you need because you can only re-equip 3 from grave. So you want to make sure you've got at least 1 left in deck to search. So you're going to send these 3 
which you actually need four and then let's send this is number five keeping a caliburn in deck so you can search it later on so then it doesn't matter if you draw one obviously you know it just saves you searching it but so you're going to send these five for example if you've already drawn one the combos are slightly different but i mean it's similar enough that you should be able to work it out hopefully um because i cannot just keep doing infinite combos <laughs> um so someone from deck the black landerslin um landerslin effect you're going to send the you're going to tribute the assault to search the last equip spell that you need and then you're going to overlay these two to summon this and then use its effect to this close to graveyard today use its effect to equip the galatin Horticler, and clarent then you're going to use caliburn effect to just equip itself and then you're going to use guinevere from graveyard to just equip to it so it gains 300 it gains 500 it gains a thousand so that brings it to a total of 4000 you can pay 500 to have it attack directly this turn and you can have it attack twice so it can attack for 4k twice basically this is obviously really hard to draw into this but you can do it off those three cards obviously um make sure you gain 500 off this you have to pay 500 for that um yeah so you can technically otk with this deck and that is it so please well thank you for watching please like comment subscribe and i'll see you in the next video mm -hmm.